You are an interpreter of the language of colour. Yes. Now explain to me how colour is a language. Well, colour is actually vibration or it's an energy and behind every colour is an emotion and a message. And I just interpret the colour choices people make to what it says about them. Wow. Now, notice straight away you're wearing this beautiful yellow. Yes. What does that mean? You know, yellow is a happy colour. Yeah. It's also one of the least worn colours mm -hmm. because uh, you really get noticed yeah. when you use yellow. And a lot of people don't like that, don't want to stand out. That's why you have yellow traffic signs, yeah. you know, and yellow school buses in the States because you really pay attention. Yeah. yeah. Now, it used to be really fashionable to have your colours done, to yes. go to, uh, you know, a yeah. personal stylist or yeah. something. But this is way more than that, isn't it? Yeah, the colours done as like image consultants, they yeah. use what looks good on you. Yeah. yeah? Uh, match your, your skin tone and your, your uh, hair colour. And um, this is more looking good yeah, about the image consultant. What I do is how do you feel? How can a color make you feel? And what message are you uh, communicating? Yeah, interesting. Now I've got to ask you, what does this color say about me? It's the, something it's, good, say something good. Yeah, I'll say something good. <laughs> uh, there are no good and no bad colors. Right. It's just what you're wearing at the moment. It's, it's, it's like a picture. It shows how you're feeling or how you want to present yourself at that certain time. I think it's more coral color what you're wearing. And that's just the feminine side of the color red. So it's saying that you're quite um, well, energized, you're motivated, you feel, you feel good about what you're doing and you, you love your job. Oh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something. You were like, whoa. No, no, no. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, we're wearing bright colors and we obviously feel good, but sometimes we would choose what darker colors if we don't feel so good. Yes, and you can see that often happening to teenagers. They will go through a phase right. where they prefer to wear black. And that is okay because uh, as a teenager, you don't want to stand out too much. Black is the color that makes you blend in yeah. uh, and you'll be accepted by the group. Yeah. Uh, it also is quite strong color in the sense it shows that like strength. Um, however, it will not reveal any emotions. Right. And for me, the teenager is saying, okay, I don't want any interference from parents or teachers. Just let me be, you know, myself and sort it out. And, um, and that is okay. However, if it goes on too long, um, I would really encourage a teenager to get out of it. Because the black is also one of the few colors that really can hinder the growth or potential. It's like if, if you put a plant into a black cupboard, mm. it will wither away right. beneath all colors. So if your teenager is wearing black mm. year after year? I would really encourage parents then to introduce something else, mm. another color. Yeah. I'm literally looking around at every color now going, what does this mean? <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. So yeah. What, what does, for example, what does orange mean? Orange, orange is a very happy color. Uh, people who love orange, they are often very social people. They like to share their knowledge or whatever they have. They, they work best uh, by doing things. Um, they are very outgoing and they love to be outdoors often. They love to be uh, doing adventurous sports like uh, mountain biking or, or climbing or just being out Doors. And so how can people put this to good use to affect the, their work or their play or the results that they're getting? If you are aware of what colours you are attracted to, yeah. you will get insight into your talents and your strengths. And the colours you really dislike, they tell something about your challenges. Mm -hmm. um, and by introducing a certain colour that you really dislike, you are overcoming your emotional block. And so you put quite a lot of this intelligence into online and physical copy books. Yes, yes, because I really would like everyone to learn the language of uh, colour. Uh, so that's why I've written several books about it. Um, one is why are you wearing those colours? Yeah. Why are we attracted to show some colours and what it says about your personality? Um, and also dress to impress is more a colour dictionary. Yeah. What impression would you like to give which color will 
help you to get you know, to give that uh, impression. So, for example, you could say, "Oh, look, I'm going for an interview. Yep. What colour should I wear?" Yeah, it depends a little bit what you want to portray and yeah. what kind of job. Yes. Yeah, if you're going for as a funeral director or as an, <laughs> yeah. an uh, outdoor. Yellow! <laughs> yeah. You know, it, it just, okay, it, and that is why it's a color dictionary. You decide what would you like to um, portray. Suppose but, someone you know only wears black and white, what would you say to him? No one we know, no one we know. <laughs> no. As a, again, there are no good and no bad colors, yeah. but color is like a nutrient. Um, and it's the same like if I only eat potatoes and carrots yeah. for breakfast, lunch and dinner, I'm missing out on some other nutrients. Oh, I love that. Colours like a nutrient. Yes, mm. it is. Because we need all colours. We need sun. We need light. Mm. So if you were going to, suppose somebody is kind of now thinking, well, oh, okay, maybe, I, maybe I'll rethink what I choose or at least be aware of it. What tips would you give us going forward about the colours we choose? get one of the books or do the <laughs> online course yeah. because that is my 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 goal is to teach everyone you know to learn to understand and speak this language of color because yeah. it's everywhere and it's universal and give me an example of colors that you would choose for certain situations yourself okay um, I have two sons and when they were in high school I used to have to go to parent teaching meetings and they were not the best students, oh, really? so um, <laughs> I would then wear something soft pink because it diverts aggression oh, or, okay. you know, a confrontation. Yeah. So I would be their very lovely parents <laughs> and uh, just wearing like, okay, don't shoot the, <laughs> me, you know, <laughs> just be nice and uh, yeah, I always gentle. I wear red to mine. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> well, that's good. That could have another effect, yeah. yeah. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Thelma, thank you so much for being with us today. I know I'm going to look more closely when I choose what I wear in the morning. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, cool.